I know there's success in it because I know people like you that just yes. crush it with cold calling. And ultimately, from a speed standpoint, it's fast. I mean, it's calling yeah. or texting. Like, there's really no other way to get in front of someone instantly. I mean, I guess you got PPC yeah. and all that, but PPC is still there's still layers. Calling, yep. like, you get someone on the phone now, whether they like it or not, you get them on the phone now, and at least you can start uh, bringing them down the funnel. So, how do, how do you? approach that strategy to make it the other person like no matter who's calling you unless they're actually in your contacts book you're not really looking forward to the call like yeah that's true yeah so when they're answering the call you know that what are you what are you doing to make it relevant that that 10 second window that you have for them to decide what they're going to do stay on the call or hang out what are you what are you doing that's relevant for them in that moment to connect I think the one, number one thing that we do is we make it clear. We state who we are, uh, why we're calling, and very specifically referencing the property if they consider an offer on their property. And so within that, just like you said, that 10-second window of connecting, they know who we are, why we're calling, and what the objective is for the call. We're there to give them a cash offer for their property. And at the end of the day, some people are going to be like, no, I'm not interested. Great. That's fine. Uh, do you have any other properties you consider selling? And then we move on that direction if they say, um, no, I don't. Okay. Thanks so much. Have a great day. But the biggest thing that I teach with our, our cold callers, um, is that they need to have respect for the people on the phone. It doesn't matter how rude people are when you call, because if anybody that's listening to this has ever cold called before, you know, you get a mixed bag of responses when you yeah. reach out to them, right? So at the end of the day, like it's about, you know, treating people with respect, regardless of how they treat you, it doesn't matter. Right. And so that's the biggest thing I think that sets our team different from everybody else is, you know, sometimes people will be rude and then other teams maybe hang up on the person and move on to the next call. But we don't look at them as just the next call. We look at them as our cold callers are on the front lines, providing an experience with our company. Right. So people um, identify that experience with Rise Real Estate Group. Right. And we want it always to be positive, no matter how challenging some people are to work with. Um, you know, we want it always to be a positive experience. So we train our guys to be very respectful. And my team lead who oversees that team, he really enforces that for sure. 